everybody in this video you will find explanation of act 2 scene 8 the scene takes place in venice a street in this scene shylock discovers the elopement of his daughter jessica with lorenzo a christian and also discovers the theft of his gold and jewels that makes him hate the christians even more and intensifies his hatred and desire for revenge against the Christians. The scene with Celerino and Salanio talking about Antonio's shipwreck. Now let's come to the detailed explanation of the scene. Celerino, why man I saw Bassanio under sail? With him is Graciano gone along, and in their ship I am sure Lorenzo is not. I saw, saw Bassanio when he sailed, and Graciano is gone along with him, and I'm sure Lorenzo is not in the ship. Salanio, the villain Jew with outcries raised the duke, who went with him to search Bassanio's ship. The villain Jew, Shylock, with his complaint, had moved the Jew to action, who went with Shylock to search Bassano's ship for, Gracia, for uh, Lorenzo. Salerino, he came too late, the ship was under sail, but there the duke was given to understand that in gondola were seen together Lorenzo and his amorous Jessica. Besides, Antonio certified the duke they were not with Bassanio in his ship. They came too late and the ship, Bassanio's ship was under sail. And there the duke was told that Lorenzo and Jessica were seen sailing in a gondola. And in addition to that, Antonio assured them that they were, that is Lorenzo and Jessica were not in Bassanio's ship. Salanio, I never heard a passion so confused, so strange, outrageous and so variable. I have never seen such a mood of confusion, so strange, so excessive and so frequently changing because Shylock was crying for his daughter at one time, his ducat the other time and also for his revenge. The As the dog Jew did utter in the streets, my daughter, oh my ducat, oh my daughter, fled with a Christian, oh my Christian ducat. As Shylock was uttering, shouting in the street for his daughter, his ducat and the other time the daughter that fled with a Christian, Lorenzo and speaking of his revenge. Justice, the law, my ducat and my daughter, a sealed bag, two sealed bags of ducats, of double ducats, stolen from me by my daughter. I shall have justice from the law because of my daughter who fled with a Christian, with a sealed bag, no, two sealed bag of ducats, of double ducats, double ducats, it seemed that there were two kind of ducats and the value of one was double the other one. It was stolen from Shylock by his daughter and jewels, two stones, two rich and precious stones stolen by my daughter and jewels, two stones refers to diamond and turquoise which were gifted to him by his wife at the day, in the days of his coach and they were stolen by his daughter Jessica. Justice, find the girl, she hath the stones upon her and the ducat. I ask for justice, find the girl, Jessica. She has the stones with her and also the ducats. Salerino, why all the boys in Venice follow him, crying his stones, his daughter and his ducat. The boys in the Venice, they are following Shylock, repeating whatever he says, as he cries for his stones, his daughter and his ducat. Salanio, let good Antonio look he keep his day or he shall pay for this. Antonio should take care to pay his debt on time, otherwise he has to pay for this. Lorenzo is a Christian, as Antonio is, and therefore Shylock would take revenge upon Antonio 
of what Lorenzo and Jessica has done to him. If Antonio is unable to pay the debt, the debt of three thousand ducats, as on the appointed time. Salerino, Mary, well remembered. I reasoned with a Frenchman yesterday, who told me in the narrow seas that part the French and English. There miscarried a vessel of our country, richly fraught. I remember that I talked to a Frenchman yesterday, and he told me that at the English Channel, which separates France and England, there had been wrecked a vessel, a ship, which was laden with rich cargo. I thought upon Antonio when he told me, and wished in silence that it were not his. When I heard of it, I thought of Antonio, and I wished, I prayed that. It is not Antonio's ship, Celanio. You were best to tell Antonio what you hear. Yet do not suddenly, for it may grieve him. You would better tell Antonio of what you have heard, but do not tell him suddenly at present, because it may upset him. Celerino, a kinder gentleman tread not the earth. I saw Bassanio and Antonio part. There is no other gentleman which is more kind than Antonio lives on earth. I saw Bassanio and Antonio part. Bassanio told him he would make some speed of his return. Bassanio said that he would hurry up, complete his work, and return. But Antonio answered, "Do not so slumber, not business for my sake, Bassanio. Do not do that. Do not rush through your business carelessly because of me, Bassanio." But the ripening of the time, and stay there until the right moment. And for the Jew's bond which he hath of me, let it not enter your mind of love. And as far as the bond of Shylock that I entered into with him, let it not come to your mind. Be merry and employ your cheapest thoughts to courtship and fair ostents of love, as shall conveniently become you there. Be happy, and let your thoughts be mainly directed to your love suit, and to making fair display of love, as it shall be suitable for you there. And even there, his eye, big with tears, turning his face, he put his hand behind him, and with affection, wondrous sensible, he wrung Bassanio's hand, and so they parted. And then there his eyes were filled with tears. He turned his face, put his hand behind him, and with all affection he clasped Antonio Bassanio's hand. And then they parted. Bassanio went for Belmont, and Antonio stayed back. Celanio, I think he only loves the world for him. I pray thee, let us go and find him out. And quicken his embraced heaviness with some delight or other. I think Antonio loves the world just because of Bassanio. Let us find him out and cheer him up and bring him out of the sadness with some amusement. Celerino, do we so? Let us do so. Bassanio and Antonio are very good friends, and this this scene shows how much they love each other. With this, I end the explanation of Act Two, Scene Nine. Thank you.